All right, so here we have to solve the inequality below and graph it, and then name the smallest integer that satisfies the inequality. So first of all, I've got 4 minus 7 over here. I'm going to make that negative 3. Combine those terms to make this a little bit more manageable. And then I notice I've got a 4n on the left and a 6n on the right. So if I subtract 4n from both sides and simultaneously add 3, I kind of shuffle everything around. That'll give me negative 6 less than or equal to 2n, so that my variable is almost completely isolated. I divide by 2, and n is larger than or equal to negative 3. So on a number line, there's a negative 3 right between the negative 2 and negative 4, and n could be equal to negative 3 or larger than it. Now, the smallest integer, that refers to the smallest, or sometimes there are questions where they ask for the largest integer. So it asks you, it's asking you for the, the number, the positive or negative whole number that fits. In this case, negative 3. That's the smallest integer that fits. Sometimes, uh, in this case, if it was just greater than negative 3, then negative 2 would be the answer. That would be the next smallest integer that works. Um, all right, thank you.